8, week 7. Here we go. Right. On we did this week, first of all, we've got unfortunate scenes in the FA Cup. I am denied about doing a piece on this or not, and I eventually decided, yes, I must. The scenes, which I'm not going to show on here, or even give the time of day to, by posting a link to it. We've all seen the pictures, we've all seen the images on the news. Aston Villa 2, West Bromwich Albion nil. Already charged enough. In fact, it was a local derby. Then throwing the magic at the FA Cup as well, and it should have been on paper a classic. And it was classic for the wrong reasons. It was classic in the sense of we saw a pitch invasion, we saw the players getting always attacked by their own fans. And they won! I don't understand it. The FA are investigating, I'm not going to dwell too much on it, but I wanted to make um, sure that everyone knew that Martin, no, Martin, Martin, um, Mark Lawrenson's opinion that um, something from the 1980s and a lot of villages lost their idiots. I never thought I'd say this about Mark Lawrenson, but the man's got a point. Switch gears quite literally. Here we go with my F1 news of the week. Man Marisha passed their crash test and have made it to Australia. The only thing that remains to be mentioned now is who the last driver is going to be. I don't know. But for it's got to be someone who probably got a bit of money to buy this seat, unfortunately. I'm not someone who actually who um, is in favour of pay drivers, but it's something that goes on in Formula 1. But, you know, I would have said Max Chilton for the drive, but he's gone to Le Mans, so it could be anyone. Oh no, young Will Stevens has got a big season ahead of him and he's going to keep his head above water for most of it. So, Marisha, good luck to you. But, come on, let us know who your next driver is. Come on. I'm only doing a couple of this week. My last topic for the week is Eurovision. I know it's still a few months away, but the British entry was decided this week. I'm undecided. I can see its appeal, but at the same time I'm thinking, really? Really? I mean, it's got a certain beat to it, but the woman who's doing it, she didn't even get out the heaps on the voice. And the guy, I'd never heard of him before. The song's okay, but unless they're gonna play a sympathy card, because the unfortunate thing is the lady in question got cystic fibrosis, which is a terrible disease to live with. Um, but she's still meant to sing and sing pretty well. But unless they're going to try and play on that for the sympathy vote, which is unfair, um, I can't see him getting in the top 10. I just can't see it happening. And then with Eurovision as well, they also had the German man entry. Um, didn't actually make a note of the name of them. The one on the, on the phone pole won the um, right to represent Germany and said I'm not in the right frame of mind here, you take it telling the point to finish second and maybe he walked off the stage It's not exactly what the countrymen who were voting for you wanted to see Not at all So, so um, Eurovision is going to leave a bad taste in my mouth this year It did last year, it won't be really honest but I don't know get Neil Poir I'm happy. Right, as you probably noticed over the last few weeks, I'm a Doctor Who fan. Very big Doctor Who fan. Um, they're filming currently for the new series, which starts in the autumn. Um, the news came out to that this week that um, Jenna Coleman, who was going to be leaving the series. Um, I, for one, I'm glad she didn't. Although I've seen a lot of people on Twitter saying that um, she was rubbish, she was useless, she's no Rose Tyler. She's no Donna Noble, she's no Amy Williams. Um, they're not supposed to be the same people, for heaven's sake. I've been a Whovian since I can remember. Okay, since, I don't know, since 93, 94, when I first started watching the reruns of the third Doctor on BBC One. The whole point is that every time the Doctor regenerates, the personality changes slightly, therefore no doctor is the same. 
That's the whole point. And the companions are meant to change the world. Jenna Coleman plays the character that she plays very, very well. I'm so tired of I should have got her name. Clara. Clara Oswald. She plays her very, very well. I personally think she's brilliant. Other people would, would argue the case with me on that one, but I don't believe that I'm wrong on this one. Anyway. Jenna Coleman is staying, so all you haters out there can go fuck yourself. Right, that's my done for the week. Um, I'm absolutely wasted, so I'm going to call it here. I will speak to you guys next week. Hashtag MattAttackThis on Twitter. Facebook me. Um, contact me throughout the week, and I will rant for you, or rant about anything you think I should be. Or send me a feedback. Like and subscribe, guys. I'm Matt. I'm out of here.